Hey Psych2Goers, welcome back to our channel. Thank you so much for all the love that you've given us. Your ongoing support has helped us make psychology and mental health more accessible to everyone. So thank you. Now let's continue. Have you ever made a fake friend and you never saw it coming or met someone who made you think they were actually on your side, but ultimately ended up stabbing you in the back? The scary truth is while we'd all like to think it's easy for us to spot a fake person, Sometimes some people are just so good at pretending that we can't help but buy into their lies and fall for their facade. How do we know who's worth trusting and who's not? How do we decide which of those around us we should and shouldn't let in? Or figure out someone's intentions to protect ourselves from getting hurt? Well, according to psychology, here are eight of the most common signs that someone is being fake towards you. Number one, they make plans they don't keep. One of the first signs that someone is being fake with you is when they make plans with you and they don't keep them. They might give you a flimsy excuse or ask for a last minute rain check or flat out stand you up. Fake people never really keep their promises when it comes to making plans together, no matter how important they are to you. They'll simply smile, nod along and agree to most anything. But when the time comes, they'll bail on you. They can't be bothered to show up, even if it's just for a quick coffee date or a phone call. Number two, they don't initiate the first contact with you. Another way you can tell if someone is being fake towards you is if they never initiate contact with you. They're never first to strike up a conversation or make plans or check up on you. This is most likely because they're only being your friend out of convenience or circumstance. Maybe you're next door neighbors who go to the same school. Or maybe you're their lab partner and you're better at academics than them. Or maybe you're friends with someone who they wanna get closer to. Whatever the reason may be, they're not making much of an effort to be a good friend and stay in your life. Number three, they talk over you and don't listen very well. Think back on the last conversation you had with this person. How did it go? What did you talk about? When it comes to fake people, most of the time, they only ever want to talk, 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 and barely listen. They interrupt you, talk over you, and act uninterested in whatever you have to say because they only want to talk about themselves. They don't really care what you think or how you feel because they just want someone to care about them and their own needless drama. Number four, they only show up when it's convenient for them. Remember what we said about someone only being your friend out of convenience? People who are fake have a tendency to only pop up in your life when they need something. They disappear for long periods of time, but suddenly want to hang out with you whenever they're bored or have no one else to hang out with or need someone to accompany them or do something for them. Number five, they're never there when you need them. Whenever they need something from you, a fake friend will come rushing to your side and act like you're their favorite person in the whole world. But the moment they get what they want from you and then you ask them for a favor, they'll disappear into thin air. You know why? Because when a fake person feels like they no longer have anything to gain from their relationship with you, they're no longer interested in being your friend. So don't expect them to stick around, especially when you're going through a tough time because they'll find excuses not to help you. Number six, they're passive aggressive towards you. Even the most patient person in the world can get angry sometimes, but fake people tend to act passively aggressively towards their friends by giving backhanded compliments making snide comments and passing off harsh criticisms and judgment as jokes or a sarcastic remark. Whether it's from the tone of their voice or the look on their face, your gut tells you that they might be jealous of you, upset with you, or have some sort of problem with you, but they refuse to come out and say it. Number seven, they only care about people in power. A fake person only cares about those who they think can do something for them and they tend to gravitate towards others like that for superficial reasons. Some fake people only like to hang out with popular people or attractive people, while others seek out those with wealth, status, or power. They want to climb straight to the top of the social ladder and don't care if they have to use people to get there. You'll know for sure when your friend is fake if the moment you lose whatever they're after, be it power, status, or success, they suddenly drop off the map and stop showing up to hang out with you. And number eight, they willingly talk about you behind your back. Someone who is fake will act nice and say good things about you to your face. But the moment you turn your back, they'll turn into a completely different person. 
They use their kindness to gain your trust and then stab you in the back by gossiping about you or spreading the secrets you shared with them in confidence. Some of them may even talk badly about you behind your back to get other people to like them more, especially to those who they know aren't your biggest fans. No matter how much it stings to admit, a fake friend is only going to hurt you in the long run. Being with someone who's only pretending to care will take a toll on your mental health and can incite trust issues too. Life is too short to spend your time with fake friends. Do you relate to any of these signs of a fake friend? Did anyone in particular come to mind while you were watching this video? Leave a comment down below. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button and share it with someone who can relate to it too. The studies and references used are listed in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to Psych2Go and click the notification bell icon for more content. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.